Hey friends, welcome into my makeup love office. I am Martha Barnett. I am an ambassador with Unique and I'm here today to talk to you about foundation. One question that I get pretty often from a lot of my customers is why does my foundation look so bad? Well, there are a couple of different reasons you could be having issues with your foundation not looking as flawless as you'd like. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that you're applying foundation on clean skin. If you're putting foundation on dirty skin, you're never gonna get a good effect. Um, make sure you're exfoliating regularly. Make sure you're doing a mask at least probably twice a week. Some people like to do three times a week. Um, but I would say at least twice, space it out a couple of days in between so you don't irritate your face. But you need to get rid of those dead skin cells that are hanging out on your face. The best way to do that is to exfoliate. So a good exfoliating mask or a good refreshing, renewing mask, something that's gonna take off all that dead skin is gonna be really helpful in giving you a smooth um, palette to work with. Another one that you might consider is dermaplaning. Now I go once a month and my esthetician does dermaplaning for me along with my facial. Um, but if you don't have an esthetician or you don't wanna go to that length, you can always do dermaplaning at home. Check it out. There are lots of videos out there on how to dermaplane, but basically what you're doing is shaving your face. If you've got a lot of facial hair, and let's face it, women over 50, we battle with a lot of facial hair. You're gonna want to remove that facial hair if you really want a flawless finish to your foundation. So do something dermaplaning, see an esthetician, um, something to get rid of that excess facial hair so that you can get a nice smooth look. The next one is make sure you're using a primer before your foundation. And I'm gonna show you that right now. I am using the mattifying primer. Um, there are lots of different types out there. This one helps to minimize pores and to give you a nice matte look. You can get hydrating ones. Um, you can get ones designed for oily skin. Whatever skincare type you need, find that kind of primer. Primer is not just an upsell. I get that a lot from customers. Well, that's just an upsell item. You just want to sell me more um, to make my, you know, total purchase price a little bit higher. No, I really don't. Makeup artists will tell you your skin is not perfectly smooth. You've got rough patches. You've got bumps. You've got breakouts. You've got whatever going on on your face. It's not nice and smooth. Think about it. When you paint your walls, you prime them first so that you've got a nice, smooth, even texture to put your paint on, right? Same thing for your face. By putting that primer on there, it helps to fill in any wrinkles, creases, spots. It helps smooth out those dry, rough patches so that the whole face is gonna be nice and smooth and even. That way, when you go to put on your foundation, you're working on a better surface. Okay, I'm gonna be using a liquid foundation today. Make sure if you're using a liquid that you shake it up really good. Sometimes the liquid tends to settle in the bottle and you get, you know, a lot of the ingredients kind of fall to the bottom and then what you've got left on the top is kind of a watery leftover. You don't want that. So make sure you shake it up really good. I'm gonna be using a Kabuki brush to put my foundation on. This is another reason why I find customers saying that their foundation doesn't look good. It depends on how you're putting it on. Um, I don't like to use my fingers to put my foundation on, and I'll tell you why, because my hands are rough. I do some gardening, I do a lot of crafting. My fingers are rough, um, and if I'm putting it on with rough fingers, I'm not gonna get a nice, smooth, even application. Uh, some gals like to use a sponge, that's fine. You could dot your foundation on and then go back and pat it in or um, blend it in really well with a sponge. I prefer the Kabuki brush. It's nice and flat on top. I find that if I pat, I get a little bit more full coverage. If I tend to blend and swipe in circles, I get a little bit sheer coverage, but it's still enough that I feel like it's covering up my dark spots and it's evening out my skin tone. So that's what I'm gonna use today, but you do you. You figure out what works best for you and experiment. What works for one person is not necessarily gonna work for the next person. The last thing I recommend to make sure your foundation is gonna look fantastic 
is to use a good setting product. Now, whether that's gonna be a spray or a powder is totally up to you. I prefer a spray because at my age, powder tends to settle in all the fine lines and creases. And that's not quite the look I'm going for, so I prefer to use a spray. Now there is a great spray by Unique, it's called Prime and Set, and with that one, you can actually spray, use that as your primer, put on your foundation and spray again. They also have a powder that's called Prime and Set Powder. Again, you can put the powder on as your primer, put on your foundation, and then powder again as your setting coat, your top coat. But using a good setting product is gonna keep everything in place. It's kind of like hairspray for your face. So nothing is gonna be moving around, sweating, smudging, going places. So I'm gonna grab my setting spray and just give a quick mist of that. There we go. Now everything is gonna stay set for the day. So if you're having issues with your foundation and it's not looking the way that you want, try some of those tips and see if that helps you out. Please be, feel free to comment down below if you've got questions or you need help. That's what I'm here for. Um, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, I hope you'll like, subscribe, give me some love, follow me. It helps me out with my algorithm and it helps you see more videos that you'll like too. Thanks for being here, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.